I am a black woman. I am a sister. I'm a daughter. I'm a granddaughter. I'm a cousin. I'm a best friend. I'm a friend. I'm a mentee. I'm a mentor. I'm an actionist. I'm boo ghetto. I'm sophista ratchet. I'm classically good. I'm everything society doesn't want me to be and more. She owns those titles, wears them like a crown on her head. My name is Carmen M. Jones, the actionist. And 2020 gave her a new one. She is a leader of the movement. I'm a member of the Kentucky Alliance. I founded the Black Women's Collective over the summer. Um, and I am a fighter for liberation. That's what this movement means to me. It's the people. The people mean everything to me. Everything. I cry sometimes when I think about how much I love Black Louisville. It was a journey for Carmen Jones to get to where she is. A military kid moving from state to state, attending four different high schools, one of which was 45 minutes away from where Mike Brown was shot and killed. But for some reason, whenever he was shot, it really did something to me. And not being able to go protest, like, caused a personal hell with inside me to go on. I, I was too young. I couldn't do anything. My grandmother wouldn't allow me to, you know what I mean? So that year, I had a personal protest my entire senior year. That sculpted her, enlightened her, and prepared her for when Breonna Taylor was shot and killed by Louisville police. When the marching started, her leadership emerged. And if this summer didn't teach me anything, it taught me that as long as you're rich in community, you will forever be wealthy. She became a mother in the streets, leading protesters to change the course of history. So the second night when I came down suited and booted, like I didn't know none of these people, but I wasn't gonna let none of them get hurt. If I can pull you from a cop, I'm gonna pull you from a cop. If I can bandage you up, I'm gonna bandage you up. If you need water, I got it. Can I, can I, can I rinse out your mask for you? You know what I mean? Because the more bodies we have, the better, but we gotta keep our bodies healthy. We gotta keep our bodies here. We have to build a community. Unlike her days in high school, there were no restrictions. I have nothing to lose. Now owning her loud voice. I'm no longer asking for you to see that my life matters. I'm now demanding it. And surrounded by support. I have been the richest, brokest girl that you know because I'm rich in community. No peace! It was easy to show up every single day for something that you love when there's somebody right here, there's somebody right here, somebody back here, somebody over there, somebody over there, all willing to fight, die for the same cause that you are. Carmen has been preparing to be a part of this movement her entire life. I've always been an activist, so this will always be my work. No matter where I'm at, this is my purpose. This is what I'm meant to do. This is what I will always do. Her leadership just happens to come naturally. You'll never hear me call myself a leader. Let your presence speak for itself, because mine does, and I know that for a fact. Owning who she is, embracing her roots, leading the liberation. I am the strongest being. The strongest being is me, the black woman.